Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Tiffany from McDonough Public Library and I am here today with another video about some new books that we have here in our Henry County Library System. Today's video will be about easy readers and picture books. So there's some fantastic ones we're going to go over. I have three easy readers and two picture books. Are you ready? Alright, let's get started! Up first, we have School of Fish, Rockin' the Tide by Jane Yolen, who you might know from our How Do Dinosaurs series. She also does chapter books, so when you guys get older, you might be reading some of her chapter books. And our illustrator, who draws the pictures, is Mike Morin, and he also illustrates um, all the other School of Fish books that we have. And uh, he has some nonfiction work, so if you guys want to learn about some cool stuff with some neat illustrations, you might want to look some books up by him. All right, so let's open it up and find out what is happening at the School of Fish. Today is music day at school. The seaweed curtains start to part, and I feel the tempo of my heart. Will everybody clap for the band? You have to read it and find out in this ready-to-read level one book. This is a level one, I can read, Amelia Bedelia, Lost and Found. The author is Herman Parrish, and did you know he is the nephew of the original author of Amelia Bedelia, Peggy Parrish? So he's pretty passionate about our Amelia Bedelia character. Uh, and our illustrator, the person who draws the pictures for this series, is Lynn Avril, and she draws um, a lot of pictures for a lot of different books. So if you like her art style, you might want to look and see what you can find by her. But let's talk about our level one, I Can Read, Amelia Bedelia, Lost and Found. Amelia Bedelia's tooth is loose. Why won't it come out? When it finally does, she can't wait to show it off to everyone at school, but then she loses it again. This toothsome story about teamwork will leave you hanging by a thread as Amelia Bedelia and her friends form a search party to solve that mystery. Amelia Bedelia discovers that she's got nothing to lose in this funny and easy to read story that is just right for beginning readers. So if you are a beginning reader who have um, mastered some of your sight words, you can read short sentences, this might be perfect for you. Our last easy reader is a level two I can read book, Splat the Cat and the Cat in the Moon by Rob Scotton. And he is the original author of Splat the Cat. So um, Splat the Cat is a picture book series, but he started working on some of these leveled readers for some of our younger readers so they can read them and get ready to read some of his picture books. So let's find out what is happening in Splat the Cat and the Cat in the Moon. Splat and Plank have a big disagreement about the moon. Can a telescope help them solve the mystery? Splat thinks the full moon looks like the cat in the moon, but Plank thinks the moon just has craters. Seymour has another idea. Beginning readers ready for level two will love this fun Splat the Cat adventure. So check this one out if you like longer sentences, so you've mastered reading shorter sentences, and um, engaging stories. So this story right here is a full on Splat the Cat story. This is Dave Weisner's Robo Baby. He is a three-time Caldecott Medal winner, and you might know him from books such as Art and Max and Flotsam. He has incredible illustrations, um, and his stories are amazing. Uh, this one is kind of funny. I think readers of all ages would enjoy this one. Let's open it up and see what it's about. Welcome to Robo Baby, number one supplier of babies. Just place your order and baby will arrive in a custom container with easy to follow assembly instructions. For a bundle of joy who is state of the art and guaranteed adorable and for the best in robot babies call Robo Baby. So this seems like it will be an incredibly funny story with some quirky parts. You guys can check it out and find out. For our final book in this video, we have Roy Digs Dirt by David Shannon. 
He is another incredible author illustrator that um, you might know from No David and a Bad Case of the Stripes. This is all about a dog who loves to dig. Let's open it up and find out what is going on. Ready? Roy digs dirt. Dirt makes Roy happy. He sits in the dirt. He rolls in the dirt. And best of all, he digs in the dirt all day long. Roy digs everything about dirt, except ants. Does Roy like taking a bath? No! Too clean? Don't worry, because every day, rain or shine, Roy digs dirt. So if you have a dog that loves being outside and getting messy, this might be a fun story that you can relate to. All right, boys and girls, that is it for our new Easy Readers and Picture Books that have come in this week. Uh, if you saw anything that you like, get your grown-up to put them on hold for you, and hopefully you will be the first person to be able to check them out. I look forward to seeing you again in some of our other videos. Have a great day!